corrupted currents of this world, offenses gilded hand may shove by justice, and oft is seen in the wicked prize itself, buys out the law. But it is not so above. There is no shuffling. There the action lies in his true nature, and we ourselves compelled, even to the teeth and forehead of our faults, to give in evidence. What then? What rests? Try what repentance can. What can it not? And it, what can it when one cannot repent? Oh, wretched state. Oh, bosom black as death. Oh, limed soul that's struggling to be free at more engaged. Help, angels! Bow, stubborn knees and heart with springs of steel. Be soft the sinews of the newborn babe. All may be well. Now might I do it? A villain kills my father, and for that I, his sole son, to this same villain, send to heaven. For this is higher and salary, not revenge. He took my father grossly, full of bread, with all his crimes broad blown, as flush of may. And how his audit stands, who knows save heaven? But in our circumstance and course of thought, it is heavy with him. And am I then revenged to take him in the purging of his soul when he is fit and seasoned for his passage? No. Absorbed. And no thou a more horrid hand. When he is drunk asleep, or in his rage, when the incestuous pleasure of his bed gaming, swearing, or about some act that hath no relish of salvation in it, then trip him, that his heels may kick at heaven, and that his soul may be as damned and black as hell where to it goes. My mother stays. This physic but prolongs thy sickly day. Fly up, my thoughts remain below. Words without thoughts never to heaven go. Can I point out uh, real quickly uh, before the end of our hour that Hamlet, on his way to his mother's bedroom to have this conversation with her, where ultimately he's going to kill Polonius. He will pause and say that now he could drink hot blood. Interestingly, he starts to sound a lot like Macbeth at a key moment. But he says, I don't want to be like Nero. Let not the soul of Nero enter this firm bosom. What, who is Nero? What do you know about him? Good guy or bad guy in the history of Roma? Yeah, really bad guy. Ironically, Hamlet will say, I don't want to end up a bad guy. I don't want to do actions that would qualify me as a bad guy. But then, just a few seconds later, when he has the opportunity to end it all in regards to Claudius, while killing Claudius is maybe a bad thing, it would be an act of revenge that a Renaissance audience would understand. But then he says, I don't want to kill him while he's praying because I want to trip his heels so that his heels or feet are pointed at heaven and his head is pointed towards... In other words, I want to send him to hell. And it's in that moment that an audience, an astute audience, will realize... While Hamlet maybe hopes that he won't become like Nero, maybe it's too late. And he's already kind of become like, come like Nero to that degree. All right, come back tomorrow. We will finish.